What? You mean you've really captured the Chi-Chi dog? Yes, Commissioner. Took 18 months. But here it is, the rarest dog in the world, the Chi-Chi dog. Well, it pains me to tell you, Sir Alfred. But what you have there is a giant flea. Nonsense. Sit up, boy. Speak. <laughs> now, what do you think? I think you have a flea that sits up and barks. But we can't go back to England with a flea. We'd be the laughing stock of the Puddlemore Pooch and Poppy Club. Well, there's only one person who can help you, Sir Alfred. And here he comes. <laughs> oh! George of the Jungle. But uh, why him? It's his show. No, oh, dear. George, this is the fabulously wealthy Sir Alfred Canine and the Lady Claudia. She did? They'll pay $50,000 if you can track down a rare Chi-Chi dog. Okay. George called Faithful Shep. A Shep? George's personal bloodhound. Very good tracker. Splendid idea. <whistles> hey, Shep. <whistles> Yep, like you. Good sign. I'm so glad. Isn't he a little big for a bloodhound? Soon the hunting party was ready to go. All set? Of course, old boy. Go right ahead. You not coming? Wouldn't do at all, my good man. It's tea time. True. Then George go. <laughs> tea, Alfred. One a moment. Now. Well, let's get busy, Merv. I okay, care. Doing what, Doc? Well, you heard them. That Chi-Chi dog is worth 50 grand. Only one thing I gotta know first. What? What the heck is a Chi-Chi dog? Meanwhile, George and his friend Ape were on the trail, led by the sensitive sniffer of Faithful Shep. Suddenly... I think he spotted something, George. Either that or I got mighty sick bloodhound on my hands. George, go see. George got him. Heel, Chi-Chi dog. Heel. Pretty feisty, these Chi-Chi dogs. George, that's a gorilla. Put it back. Oh, sorry, Kerchak. Put her there. Well, he put her somewhere. Meanwhile, in the Bumbershooty Public Library. Here it is, the Chi-Chi dog. It's gorgeous. How do we catch it? It says here, there is one thing a Chi-Chi dog cannot resist. Another Chi-Chi dog. Where are we going to get another Chi-Chi dog? You are looking at him. And on the other side of the jungle. <laughs> this Chi-Chi dog? That George is more of a crocodile. Thought it looked like crocodile, but you know how sneaky they are. <laughs> well, how do I look? It's you. It's you. Yeah, I am kind of irresistible at that. Arf, arf. Arf, arf? It's the call of the Chi-Chi dog. Get the net and let's go. Chi-Chi dog? Hippopotamus, George. Good. These things hard to housebreak. Arf, 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 arf. Arf, arf, arf. George, I think Shep has a live one. When Shep make point, George, get it. Arf. I think you lucked out, Doc. Got him! We got the Chi-Chi! That ain't no Chi-Chi, that's a yo-yo. Huh? We got George of the Jungle. Let's split. But it was too late. Hey, Chi-Chi! Hey, Chi-Chi, dog! My horoscope said something like this might happen today, but I didn't believe it. So shortly in the canine hunting camp... <laughs> By Godfrey, he's done it. He's captured a Chi-Chi dog. Get your hands off of me, you big goof. A talking Chi-Chi dog. Don't be ridiculous, lady. I am just a simple country witch doctor. Uh, then uh, why the strange costume? It's part of my bedside manner. My patients demand it. Silly, I know. But if it makes one sick little kitty feel better... Yes, very commendable. Well... I guess we'll go home without a Chi-Chi dog. We do have our giant flea, Alfred. 
And wouldn't you just know it, in response to the flea's arf arf, a real Chi Chi dog walked into the clearing. They know each other. Of course. I see it now. Living with us, that flea has become rich and pampered. You mean? Yes. He's now rich enough to afford his own dog. But how about George's reward? Impossible, old boy. Everybody knows that dogs are attracted to fleas naturally. Uh, no reward. Oh. Well, no hard feelings. George now give going away present. Genuine crocodile handbag. How oh, sweet. You mean after they cheated you, you gave them a crocodile handbag? Sure. Look. All they got to do is take crocodile out of it. You know, Georgie boy, sometimes I think you're not as dumb as I think you are. Me too. <laughs> <laughs>